Um, this is what I expect will be a very short video uh, to show how to um, correctly determine and, and put into Blackboard the partial credit for problems that have multiple correct answers. Test 9, Electrical Engineering 536, is one uh, test that has questions that have multiple correct answers. And I believe that at the present time, the partial credit is uh, being calculated incorrectly. And so in this video, I will show how that can be corrected. So let's go to test 9, and we will uh, edit the test. And immediately, we see that indeed, uh, question one has three correct answers. Question two has three correct answers. Question three has three correct answers. And question four also has three correct answers. Now, uh, we want to make sure that the partial credit for each of these is correct, and, and uh, I believe it is not correct, so we'll, we'll look and see. So um, on problem one, let's go and we will edit this question. And um, let's see what we have here. Okay, immediately I can see that there is a problem because the box for allowing negative scores for incorrect answers is not checked. And uh, the problem with this is that if the students are not penalized for incorrect answers, then on a question like this, they can simply guess all of the answers and they will assuredly uh, then get all of the correct answers for sure. And since there's no penalty for the incorrect answers, they will get a perfect score for the problem even though they really haven't done it correctly. So on all of these problems that uh, have multiple correct answers, uh, we want to make sure to check the box that says allow negative scores for incorrect answers. Now, we will not check the box that says allow a negative overall score for the question because uh, we don't want uh, to be able to have a negative score for a whole problem but we do want to uh, be able to have negative scores for incorrect answers. Okay, so now let's scroll down. Now, you see that uh, in this problem, as we've already said, there were three correct answers. Uh, answer one is correct, and so it has a partial credit of 33.33333. Likewise, uh, answer uh, three has that same amount, and answer four, we uh, make it 33.33334 so that it will add up to one. Okay, so now uh, we need to simply go back and fill in for the incorrect answers and so, and, and this is just very easy. Um, so for answer two, uh, we simply put negative 33.33333. And for um, And that's all we have, actually. That's the only incorrect answer for this problem. But we just make the penalty for an incorrect answer equal to the negative of the amount of credit that a student would get for one of the correct answers. Because we want, what we want is that we want the, uh, if the student has an incorrect answer, we want it to exactly cancel out one of the correct answers. So 
uh, all we all you have to do is just look at the amount of credit that the student gets for a correct answer and then take the negative of that uh, for the incorrect answers and so uh, we will uh, submit and uh, now let's do the same thing for uh, question two edit that once again I found negative scores for incorrect answers and we will put in here for this this one negative 33.33333 and all the other answers are correct and submit that and then we go to a question three and once again same procedure Allow negative scores for negative answers, or excuse me, for incorrect answers, and we will have negative 33.33333 for uh, answer two, and same thing for answer four. And let's see now. Um, so we've taken, oh, and also answer five. And submit. Now let's see here. Point four <clears throat> also needs to be modified. Now remember, um, okay, there's no nine point five, so nine point four needs to be modified. Same technique. And we can check one of the correct answers just to make sure. And again, it's 33.33333. So here we will have minus 33.33333. And maybe just to make this quicker, I'll copy that. And then come down here to the next incorrect answer, which is 3. Paste that in and then go to the next one, which is five, and paste that in, and that's it. And we submit it. And that takes care of every problem on test nine, and then um, uh, test nine practice. Uh, would also need to be modified. So, and that's all that's required uh, when when you're done uh, modifying the questions. Just say okay, and that's it. And then that question, uh, that that test has been taken care of. So uh, that concludes the discussion of how to correctly set the partial credit on problems that have multiple correct answers. Uh, thanks.